Now we are supposed to condense this sum of logarithmic expressions down to a single logarithm. It's going to be one of these. Um, now to do that, we're going to use one or more of the properties of logarithms. Now when you're going from a single log to a sum, you know, when you're moving in this direction, it's called expanding. Um, on the other hand, if you're starting with a sum or a difference or a number out front and you're moving in this direction back to a single log, then this is called condensing. Um, so that's what we're being asked to do is condense. We're moving this way. So let's see which property we're going to use. All right, I think we're going to use two properties here. Um, first of all, anytime you see numbers in the front, you should be thinking about the exponent property, which has a number in the front. And according to the exponent property, that's the same thing as taking that and putting it up into the exponent. All right, that's what's happening right here. So if you have a number in front, you can put it as the exponent. That's the exponent property. So I'm going to do that for both of these terms. So if I take this 4 and make it an exponent, and I take this 16 and I make it an exponent, then what I have is log base 8 of a to the fourth power plus log base 8 of b to the 16th power. So there I've used the exponent property. Next I'm going to use the product property um, which says that if having a sum of logs is the same thing as having a single log if you go ahead and multiply these two numbers together, these two expressions. All right, so addition condenses down to multiplication. And that's what we have here is addition. So I could rewrite this as a single log if I use now multiplication. So I'm going to do a to the fourth power times b to the sixteenth power. All right, it's time to look up and see if I've got it. And it looks like, oh, so close. I need a to the fourth power, b to the 16th power. So I'm going to go with d. All right, even though normally we write these in alphabetical order, um, which they didn't here. But this is clearly the same as d.